Since the overhaul and redesign of the Microsoft Store, it is now easier to find apps that might be of interest to you. Plus, managing those apps, having them all in one place, makes it easier to remove or update easily. Of the apps I've tested and used, I'll show you the best apps for Windows available from the Microsoft Store. Let's get started. With more than 10 to show you, I'll go through these quicker than usual. First up is Power Toys. For both Windows 10 and 11, this utility package includes a set of useful tools to improve your experience on Windows and enhance your overall productivity. Some of the tools I use include the Color Picker, which allows you to select a color to find out what color it is, which is useful for artists and designers. Fancy Zones allows you to personalize the layout of your desktop. This comes in handy when working with a multi-monitor layout or large monitor. Image Resizer allows you to resize images in bulk. And the Shortcut Guide lets you quickly see the most popular keyboard shortcuts associated with the Windows key. To open the Shortcut Guide, use the keyboard shortcut Windows key plus shift plus slash. To use any of these, hold down the Windows key plus the corresponding key or keys. Splash is for those of you that like to change your desktop wallpaper and lock screen images on a regular basis. Using images from Unsplash, which is a stock photography site, it'll keep those images automatically updated. You can easily filter the images you see by category or search term. You can also set the interval when those images change from 15 minutes up to one week. For free, Splash supports resolutions up to 1080p. If you upgrade to their paid version, which is $2.49, you can get images with a resolution up to 4K. Duplicates Cleaner is for those of you that often ask in the comments in our free software videos, do you know of a good program that will get rid of duplicate files? After you manually select a folder, it can find duplicates of any file type. And once it finds those duplicate files, you can get rid of them with just one click. ShareX is a free and open source screenshot and screen recording tool I've mentioned in other videos. It's now available from the Microsoft Store. It's packed with a lot more tools than the built-in snipping tool in Windows and others like GreenShot. Selecting Capture on the left, you have several choices, including full screen, window monitor, region, screen recording, and my personal favorite for capturing an entire web page is scrolling capture. And if you go into tools here on the left, there's a color picker, image editor, and video converter. Windows has a built-in weather app that is decent, if you want more details, the best weather app in the Microsoft Store is MyRadar. I like that it lets you select various layers, including winds, temperatures, warnings, and many others. It also allows you to select a specific radar station and select from three different elevation scans. The free MyRadar app does have ads. To get rid of the ads, they do have a paid app they call MyRadar Ad Free, which is $13.99. I'll mention this briefly. If you're not a fan of the built-in Microsoft Edge web browser, you can now get the free and open source Firefox web browser directly from the App Store, which we've discussed is one of the best browsers available and is only one of a few not built on Google's Chromium. Other browsers available from the App Store include Brave, which is for those of you that are privacy focused, and Vivaldi is another fantastic browser that's great for those of you into customization and productivity. If you enjoy listening to lesser known music, give Soma FM a try. It offers more than 30 curated channels from music directors and award-winning DJs, all of which are completely free to listen to with no ads. It's great for discovering hidden musical gems. Next up is Adobe Photoshop Express. This app is great for those of you that want an easy to use, lightweight photo editing tool and don't need the fully featured version of Photoshop. Let me show you around real quickly. After you've selected a photo to edit, along the left, you have a selection of looks to choose from. These are similar to the filters in Instagram. You can rotate, flip, change the aspect ratio, and straighten out your image. The corrections tab is the most useful of these. Light lets you adjust the exposure and contrast. If you have a washed out photo, go down to blacks, then adjust the slider to the left. You have five color choices, six effects, including clarity and grain and Details has the option to sharpen your image. There's a tool to heal blemishes. You can correct red eye with a single click, 
and there's a tab to add borders to your photos. At the top of the screen, there's an Auto Enhance tool that can touch up your photo with just one click. This feature is hit or miss, but may come in handy if you're in a hurry. Because I know there's a ton of you that follow our channel that use Telegram on your mobile device, you might also be interested in using their desktop app as well. The feature set is essentially the same, offering end-to-end -end encryption, video calls, and so much more. VLC Media Player, the free and open source media player I've mentioned a ton on this channel, now has two apps available in the Microsoft Store. The first one, just called VLC, is the same full-featured version that's also available from their site. The second app from VLC in the store is called VLC UWP, which is designed for use with touchscreen computers. It's more touch-friendly and simpler to use, but should be noted that it does not support Blu-rays and DVDs. People often ask in our other videos, what are you using to highlight your mouse pointer? Well, I'm using an app from the store simply called Mouse Pointer Highlight. It's highly customizable depending on your needs. You can change the size, opacity, and color. You can also adjust the click highlight size, opacity, display time, and color. Before we wrap up this video, here's two apps from Microsoft that are really good. First of which, Microsoft To Do is a completely free app, also available on other platforms like iOS and Android. That's a great way to manage your tasks to be more productive. The other app from Microsoft is Visual Studio Code, which can also be downloaded in the store. As I've shown in our free software series of videos, it's a fantastic code editor for developers with support for most programming languages and includes a ton of plugins to enhance the functionality. Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful to you, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. If you use an app from the Microsoft Store that you think is useful, let me know about it in the comments. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and click the bell to get notified when we release our latest software videos and other tech-related stuff.